Hi, Christine. You've been part of a new task force, Rural Africa, set up by the European Commission. Can you please give us a little bit of an idea what the task force and the main findings were about? The task force Rural Africa was initiated by EU Commissioner for Agriculture, Phil Hogan. He took the EU Commissioner for Development on board and the African Union Commissioner for Agriculture. And the three together initiated this task force process in order to get some individual expert advice on how rural Africa can be better developed in cooperation between the European Union and African countries. I will place the report along with the, the your report along with the video later on, so we don't need to go into all the details. But maybe you can give us your take on what is the one or two biggest highlights of the findings of the of the of the uh, task force. We um, recommended. To, to really focus more in the development on rural communities, on um, developing the standard of living in rural communities, supporting education, health opportunities, um, job growth and um, infrastructure. And when we look at job growth in rural communities, we are immediately in the agricultural sector, in the development of the food economy because it's located mostly in rural regions. And there, that's why we put a strong focus in our report on developing the food economy. That means um, focusing the further developing food value chains, food processing, food marketing, and everything that's related with um, satisfying the growing demand for food products in Africa. And maybe you can give us a bit more background why exactly this is for you guys the most important part? There are a lot of young people that are looking for jobs and um, the, the food and agricultural sector and the food processing sector in particular, marketing, distribution, these are areas where a lot of jobs are potentially available because food is something that needs everybody every day in his life. And this is why we think that it's of, of it grow big importance that the food economy in Africa develops even better in order to satisfy these demands. And for this, we need functioning value chains, we need functioning um, um, cool storage chains, we need functioning marketing systems, and we need cross-border trade and regionally integrated markets so that the, that the food that's produced often in rural communities is delivered to um, the, the consumers. Now, value chains and reports like this are obviously on quite an abstract level for, for people to, to look at, you know, when, they, when it comes to their own situation. Is there any sort of mechanism, any sort of consideration in the report how to actually translate these somewhat theoretical ideas into concrete action. Is there anything on that? Well, this is not just very theoretical, it's very practical because you go every day in a, in a store to, to buy food. And here, um, I mean, you can go into a supermarket or you can go on a street market, but um, often you can see that the quality of the food is not satisfactory, that the packaging is not satisfactory, or that the marketing and the promotion, the advertising for food is non-existent. But in, in modern societies, these are attributes that, that people like from food, that people would like to have good, healthy, quality food. And this is something where the African food economy can further develop. And one of our proposals there is not only developing and supporting the finance for these value chains, but it's also to, to bring African and um, European food producers, food processors, agricultural associations together so that they can um, learn from each other and exchange knowledge how to better organize and professionalize uh, the food economy. Maybe you can delve into that a little bit more. What other transmissions would there be to get those findings into something on the ground. Anything else there? Well, this is um, where we take it from here. The development of this task force, we have delivered now this report to the um, Commissioner for Agriculture and Development in the EU and the Commissioner for Agriculture of the African Union. And now it's for the, the government, the political institutions, 
but also the, um, the stakeholders, the food processing, the food production associations and um, organizations to pick it up and to work on developing the food economy. The next steps that are planned, at least on the EU side, is to develop an action plan that should be um, decided upon in this June. And then hopefully over the next month, there will be getting um, some action behind that and um, programming. And on the African side, obviously, we also hope that um, the, the support by the African Union helps to bring um, these ideas to the ground and to put a continuous focus on the development of rural Africa and the African food economy to, to, um, yeah, to stakeholders, policy makers and um, decision makers in African communities. What is your take on the overall process of the task force? How do, how do you see that? How is it working? Where is it getting? The next step is now to develop an action plan. Um, mostly pushed forward by the, by the European Commission, by the um, Directorate General for Agriculture, but they um, have DG development on board and from there on this can be brought into development programming over the next years. But we also hope obviously that on the African side, not only the politicians pick this up, but maybe that this could also be an orientation or guideline for professional organizations where they then can find um, opportunities to maybe cooperate with European associations so that they can learn and exchange knowledge with each other. Excuse my ignorance, but we have the CADEP process and we have those national action plans that have been there for a number of years now. And the, the idea of the African side was quite often that there would be money put by the donors into those into the implementation of those action plans if you juxtapose the two different things here now what is the difference between the cut up and the na national action plans process and the things that you suggest or is that completely wrong question um, no, that's not a wrong question. These are two processes that in the best case build on each other because this um, Task Force Rural Africa was a one-off initiate by um, DG Agriculture, so by the Commissioner for Agriculture and not just by um, the development community. So there's a lot of um, power behind that because it was initiated by the EU Commissioner for Agriculture of the European Union. But, um, and this in the optimal case, brings um, highlights again the importance of the CADAP plan and of, the, of these national agricultural investment plans and um, put even from a political side more importance on really focusing on the development of rural Africa.